Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got my Christmas bottle, Glen Dronick 21 Parliament, and coin 350 and 349. We're gonna sign them, baby. Let's test it. You bet. It. You bet. It. You bet. It. Test it. Let's test it. This is our season glass. Yeah, these were season. We had, right, uh, we, we, we had a sample before yes. showtime. I forgot. Do you have a Scotch now, God shout out? Right to, or do you want to talk about the coin? Three forty nine and three fifty. These Ooh. are the last two coins from Cast from Cast Two. two. Uh, these will go up on eBay. This show is going to air on February seventeenth. Uh, coin three forty nine and three fifty will be up on eBay for your enjoying pleasure. Everything we make on those goes towards the show. We are also testing new mics we bought uh, with our Patreon funds. We got wireless mics that tie right into the camera. Tying in. Uh, lav mics. Hopefully they work pretty good. They're working good. We did a short test before, so we know we do know they work, and Bart gave me a lot less than what? he did himself. It's your bottle. I would never <laughs> pour you less of this wonderful juice. Just uh, teasing. Here. Actually, no, well, no, I'm just going to pour it. Okay, do it. here, pour some more. I was trying to um, make that a little whimsical. I was you, waiting. Did you know I'd notice that? I knew you would. I kept kind of pointing at it. I was I, waiting for you to be like, "What is that?" Scotch God shout out goes to Vin <laughs> over at No Nonsense Whiskey. Uh, check him out on YouTube, uh, and it's on your blind quick hitter Ooh. of uh, the Glen Glen Moore and Gia Star. Ooh, the, the Star. older was bottle, a good one. the older bottling. Right, and I caught me yeah, at the 2016. No, it's it's been, no, it's before, before that. that. Yeah. Wow, it's before that. Yeah, it's several years old. Wow. The new one was a remake of that one from Got last it. year. Got um, it. Anyway, he says, I would love to see you, mm. Bart, force Scott to actually play a game one day. There must be some game loosely related to whiskey I out was there. curious if you would pick this and what you would say, because I do know you. <laughs> so what, what's your answer to that? I play occasionally. Yes. Yes. You have some genres of game uh -huh. that you like. And it's where it ties into kind of your movie like as well, and mm -hmm. that group, sure, yeah. which would be sci-fi slash zombie, bam, horror, yes. type stuff. Yeah. So there is a niche for everyone out there, and Scott's even found his. Mm -hmm. Although you're tough to teach a game to. Yeah. Because all I expect is that when you when you hound me for a month to come over and play a game, and I finally do that you should know the directions of how to play before I get here. You know, some of these modern games are like 38-page rule book. <laughs> so I've got them down, but sometimes I'm like, hmm, let me check that. Although you did enjoy, if anybody wants to check, Zombie Side. Zombie Side. From Cool Mini or Not, or what they call themselves, Simon. Check them <laughs> out. They've got a great game out there. Glendronic 21 Parliament. This is strictly Gosh, exclusively aged in Oloroso Sherry and Pedro Jimenez casks for mm. 21 years. 48%. Mm. This was my first purchase from Masters of Malt. Well, it's a good first purchase. No, that, okay, well, and I'll tell you why when we get to the Is It Worth It segment. Mm. The nose on this is phenomenal. Decadent. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Oh, the sweet, sweet, sherry, sweet, sherry, sherry just piling out of there. Jumps right out, grabs your eyebrows, mm. grabs your nose hairs. You want to dive into it. That is fruit plum mm -hmm. yeah. wrapped in sugar. Oh, chocolate. Then, yeah, chocolate and vanilla. Like a white chocolate coming in just creamy. Fudge. Mm, gosh, this nose is phenomenal, and I'll actually not drink all that. I was trying to get you to joke around, and oh, I was going to split it with you. That well, I would. I love you. This, this is a good bottle. So I did say this is my Christmas bottle each year at Christmas. Mm. Um, a lot of people kind of buy a special bottle just to enjoy. Mm. Um, for the most part, mine are sherry. They're going to be a little bit older and maybe a sherry finish mm. or an exclusive uh, matured sherry. This is a good one. I think I need to go to, like, my bottle of the month. <laughs> I need to have a special bottle for the first of every month. Mm. I know. Go first, my friend. Mm. Mm. Buttered toffee. Oh, yeah. S the spices, mm. the cinnamon and cardamom. Mm. 
Ooh, I got like a nice peach right there. Apricot, maybe mm. even on the inhalation. I agree with the apricot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. richness that the 21 years, usually about the 18 year to 21 year mark, that the wood really starts to play an in influence. It gives it a scotch, wonderful, scotches. smooth oak finish with, for me, the apricot right before you hit the wood. And the finish, long, velvety, creamy, still hanging around real subtle, and then it just, just kind of fades out, drops away. 48% of deliciousness. It gives me a little bit in the final finish of a dry, cottony astringency on the cheek, but that's, that's with the flavor basically gone in the finish at this point in time. But wow, in the open, i got to come back for the open. Mmm. 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 Good. Now, a lot of people... There's the Glendronic 21 and the 18 Allardyce. Mm. And the 18-year-old Allardyce, I need to get a bottle of and review. We've had a sample, but it's exclusively Oloroso Sherry matured. We had them side by side, and I remember I liked this one better, even though it's a combination of Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez casting. Mm. This is but delicious. But Glendronic is really rising to the top of the yeah. charts with right. Sherry-influenced scotches. They were shuttered for a few years. The The distillery shut down. Some of their scotches sat in the barrels longer than they should have. There's some, you know, 12-year-old. Some There's some of the 15-year-old revival that's 19 years old, actually. Right. So, and some of these, even the 18-year-old in this one, I think, can be a little bit um, older. You've got to check the bottling date, and you can look online and find out. Yeah, you're all over that. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. mean, sometimes I... I'm a cheap date. I shy away from the older bottles because I do, I'm do. i not as big a fan of the oak influences. And uh, this one pulls it off great. Uh, the oak is not overpowering. It's smooth. It comes in for me at the finish. Although I do get a nutty flavor on the forefront, which I believe is also the oak finish mm. or the oak influence, not finish. And um, the sherry just... Just really lingers around in a vanilla sweetness. Keeps it really light and 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 featherly for me. I mean, it just really kind of circles around. It's a beautiful, beautiful 21 year. Love it. I've got my score up. Mm. Uh, this did not disappoint me on Christmas Day at all. All right. I, I haven't seen yours. This is wonderful. 91 for me. I really, really like this. This is delicious. I went. Wow, 96. you really, yeah, this is, well, this is your nice. wheelhouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would, this is delicious. I would love to drink this every day. Wow. Yeah. Whew. Now, okay, so the Is It Worth It? Masters of Malt. Um, Masters of Malt, Whiskey Exchange, there's a lot of uh, online shops across the pond that sell. They sell 700 milliliter bottles. Mm. So there, it's like two to three ounces of difference from a U.S. bottling, right. which is 750 milliliters. Now, this bottle, though, from Masters of Malt is $120. Hmm. Well, I mean, it goes up and down, or kind of up. That was that was a kind of a sale they had with it. In the United States, this is a $220 bottle. It's got a UK for, sticker on it. For a couple more ounces of, of liquid. Right. So two more ounces of liquid. Cost you $100, basically, for U.S. That's $120 for Masters of Malt, $220 in the States. Wow. That's a steal. So, yeah, check Masters of Malt, check Whiskey, whiskey Exchange. Don't let that little smaller mm -hmm. bottling affect you. If there's something you really want. Mm. $120, yes, it's worth it. Wow. For a 21-year? Yeah. Holy moly. $200, it's worth it. Yeah. That's great. Don't yeah. tell them that, though. They'll raise it. <laughs> Don't be listening to that, Masters of Malt. Your 120 was spot on. Wow. I don't drop like a, the UK sticker, too. I don't, and a drop of water didn't bother this at all. I just got a little bit of Does a it change barrel it? char. I don't feel it needs water it, at all. It was delicious and neat. All right. Now, I'm with you. I will usually add the water yeah. just to see if it changes up, but there's nothing here that makes me want to add any water to it. No. Neat is, is unbelievably succulent. That's right. I said succulent. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. We, and we, well, we've had good luck with all the Glen Tonics. Eight percent. We have the twelve, the fifteen, mm. um, the twenty. I really like the fifteen. Yeah, the fifteen was one 15 of my favorites. Revival. Yes. Wow. All right, uh, traveling dummy. Ooh, got it. Hold on. I keep on a. I want to continue sipping. All right, we're gonna come in with Nathan, the tour guide. So we're coming in with Nathan, the tour guide, right next to the still, holding one of our coins. He looks thrilled. And you're looking at it right now. Bluegrass Distillery. They use blue corn. He, uh, Tracy says here it's much sweeter. And then we've got uh, Tracy again holding the coin back by the still, by the copper still. So there you go. Um, Bluegrass Distillery. I have not tried their products. Have you ever had anything from Bluegrass? No, didn't you have something there that showed Boone County or something like that? Um, I think that might have been another. Oh, he was sent, another uh, okay. He was at two different distilleries. Tracy, yeah, we are one. jealous of Tracy because he is Ooh, always touring. Tracy tours. Distilleries. Right. And These are send go-to. In picks in. You bet. So send in your picks for the Traveling Dummies. Because I've got a backup one still, which you just referenced from Tracy. Mm. We can always oh. go to Tracy. Tracy travels, baby. Coin three forty nine. Wow, three fifty. We're gonna sign these. These will be up on eBay for right. a week. I'm gonna seven sign days? them on the black side. Yes. Yeah. Saturday, you know what we always have that lull in the middle. You can almost Saturday, do five. Friday, Saturday. Do we do 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 seven days? Saturday to Saturday should end Saturday the next Saturday morning. Wow, it kind of it looks. I over We're going to initial them. Yeah, hold on. Oh, not over the number. What are you talking about? You initialed over the number. You can still see it. Sorry, let me come in low. <laughs> I initialed over the number. Does it hide it completely? A little bit. A little bit. Do you want to clean that off with some acetone? <laughs> I'm sorry. I got a little crazy. I had the 21, and now it looks like it could be a 358. We could be pulling a fast one on you. We are not pulling a fast one. We are one not. On you. I signed over my face is what I was trying to do, and then you're right. The B got a little crazy, and it went over that. <laughs> if you take a little hairspray, it'll take that right off. That's a, that's a trick the wife had. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummy. Dummy.